Right, what's up guys? Monday morning. Uh, back to Western Road finally. So, we've got a little bit of action going on here this week. Uh, la, la, la. Trust Roof. Trust was obviously ordered on Tuesday. Didn't turn up with a uh, crane, as you know. So, I had to put one in. Obviously, Monday morning, we've got a full team in ready to rock and roll. So, just had to... We haven't got a lot of space out the front, so just had to sort of make sure, get all the neighbours out, let them know that we're blocking the road off. Uh, now we're getting set up, so. We've got the scaffold towers set up, ready to undo the straps. Uh, we've got our plan set up. We've got the main man, Nick, the chippy. As motoring costs continue to rocket, um, we're here to that's make it, I suppose. Let's get cracking. service last night and the o-ring has snapped on it it was getting loose and it weren't holding the gas in and it's just snapped off today so i've ordered one hopefully it'll be here tomorrow I might have to hire one uh just for a couple of days until it turns up and see that or pay a silly amount to get here tomorrow so 25 quid a week to hire one just get one for the week you know what i mean saves tools down and all We are done for the day. Uh, just getting packed up now, so I'll just do a quick check in. Show you how we're getting on. Had a good day, really. So all the trusses are on, obviously the hips are on. Um, take a look at this. Uh, and the... So I'll zoom down. Absolutely spot on that is. I know that's at the bottom, but I'll do it at the top as well. I'll show you. Absolutely spot on that is. So yeah, really pleased with that. You never know sometimes with the old trusses, bit hit and miss sometimes, but um, touch wood, it's gone on relatively well. So catch you guys in the morning. What's happening guys? Um, Tuesday morning, I'm over Margaretting, um, just had to drop some boards out for the dry liners. I'm doing half a day today because uh, I've got another wedding tomorrow. So 
bit annoying on a Wednesday, but um, do love a good wedding. Anyway, I'm up on this Dorma. Obviously on Friday, we rubbered it up, didn't we? Um, we're gonna be throwing this ridge back through. So I've just reinstated a couple of tiles that come out from the neighbor's side. The things you have to watch out for, we need to put a baton through here like a kick button to kick the bottom of the tile out otherwise it's going to dip in but you can't nail it through because you're going to perforate the membrane so what I like to use is that OB1, CT1 any premium adhesive and that will just stick that to the membrane and then you've got a nice kick button it's raised off the roof so you're not going to get any water underneath it's going to be rotting it and uh you're going to get no sag from the tile so i'm going to glue that one on and then work my way through tiling it and then i'll knock a gauge of muck up and get the ridges whacked on if i've got time i'll go through the backs of these and i'll Reed told Emin as well, just another little job ticked off the list. So there you have it. Morning guys, how are we doing? Friday morning, the week's here. I'm a little bit hanging today because I had the wedding Wednesday. Yesterday was off, I'm trying to chill out. Um, back to it today. We're over Western Road, me and Chris. I'm gonna felt and batten, I'm gonna felt and fly batten this roof just to get water tight. We haven't got a decision yet on the tiles or slate so I don't know the batting gauge and obviously we want to get the soft and faces round first so we're going to fly batten it, fly battening means just temporary battens uh, they don't have to be set to the gauge basically just fixing them down just to hold the felt in place in order for us to get up to the top and completely felt the roof then it'll be watertight keeps the client happy keeps me happy and then we can uh, move on to the next job so hopefully it shouldn't take us very long and then we'll shoot over to Margaret him and have a little look over there see how the dry line is getting on so stay tuned
so these are going on as expected nice and easily so that's the two sides done just coming through this front section now the only issue is going to be doing this last one so that one will be fine if we have a little look here we can't because we've got access to the flat we're not able to put a scaffold on this flank so um yeah it's going to be a bit challenging that in fact well really challenging really but it is what it is we're gonna to have to try and figure something out um now we've got the scaffold here we may be able to hang hang a beam across from there to there and get this last lifted above the stairs so we'll have to have a little conversation with the scaffolders we'll get that done yeah so it's going to be a coffee time i think shortly about another half hour i'll probably get this side in you right guys just a quick update on western road before we leave and go to margaret in i'll just show you obviously we had the retail shop downstairs we took the roof off we underpinned it installed the timber frame truss roof and obviously the roof right what's up guys just over margaret and i thought i'd just show you how the tackers are getting on <coughs> We just had to go and sort out a few little bits and bobs for them, as you normally get. So yeah, just quickly show you round progress. All vaulted, all looking good. All stuck on. Velux window, nice and splayed out just to increase maximize the natural light this is going to be the plant room for the vented cylinder and all your bits and bobs like that this is the spare room now it's all in it's actually just about a generous size there lovely that bathroom's all in um, we're looking like we can get an 800 vanity unit in there so that will actually fit like a glove and almost be look like it's been custom made which is good a few more bits to do in the master but the lid's been dropped over the steels MF on that wall as well this is all dabbed out nice and plumb now this is getting brought down to cover this purling and then that will get trimmed off after so yeah only cut little bits to go now that we're still waiting on the uh, air con guy to move that over and then um yeah good to go so i won't show you downstairs just yet because it's a little bit um incomplete but that completes another week from paul jamie like subscribe and comment down below enjoy your weekend and we'll see you monday